So I make out and I have a few, few questions for you guys. I'm sorry, I'm a bit tired because of the heat. And uh, the name of the band is Der Weg einer Freiheit. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you speak French? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a question. So, hello and thank you for your time. First of all, how do you feel? Very well, very well. Really? Pretty excited. Yeah, the show was very nice. The show has gone. We feel pretty relieved, I think, yeah. to a certain degree, because such a show is always something that makes you nervous and you want to like do a good job. But I don't know. Every one of us, as soon as we met today, every one of us was relaxed, and as soon as we went on stage, we were feeling pretty well, I would say. And yeah, yeah. You, you feel the pressure just before, and when you're in. It's okay. Completely gone. Yeah. Do you yeah. want to add something? Um, maybe today. Uh, you're right that uh, before the show, it's always like a pressure. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Uh, but today was because of the heat mostly uh, for me very exhausting. Uh, mm -hmm. Like uh, I was feeling uh, very dizzy in some parts of the set where I don't know long screams or something like that happens. Uh, but. Yeah, we made it and um, it was just a hell of a show uh, for everyone. I, I saw you on stage, guys. Don't worry, it was really good. Um, so you played on the temple stage a few hours ago. How do you feel about your performance today? Uh, what do you mean with the preference? Your performance. Performance? Yes. Um, the cool thing about tonight uh, like about the show today was that um, I was really like in a tunnel and I didn't had to think about anything else besides playing so I was really into the music um, and I totally forgot like time and everything else in the in the world actually um, you forgot everything but the show yeah I was really in the moment because um, there are, there are some shows where you worry about equipment or I don't know maybe it's just not your day so um, the focus is on anything else but the show that can happen it's it's it feels like do you know the feeling when you're on a highway and you drive but and then suddenly you you wake up and then you think well where am I and sometimes this can happen on a show actually and tonight was like the opposite of that I was just really really in, in the moment and you concentrate and yeah. you, you kept the moment to go yeah out. okay um, another question is what does playing Elfest mean for you and for the band that's a huge festival um, international um, who wants to answer maybe um, definitely um, Hellfest is I think one of the world's a biggest name in festivals uh, and one of the biggest in, in Europe and it's um, an honor to play uh, of course <laughs> it's an honor to play this fest this kind of festival and it also differs from other festivals because of a flawless production and uh, organization and that is also why maybe Tobias felt so well on stage because the stage management itself was perfect and uh, that is not common I would say on, on other festivals and um, yeah they, they ju they're just doing it right in my opinion and um, that's really cool to, to play this kind of festival yeah. Th that's a good career because uh, I don't know uh, the backstage of the festival so if you say the Hellfest is really good thank you yeah. <laughs> and I love this festival <laughs> really and also uh, maybe to add uh, for, for the the bands that are playing it's not like um, just a very very um, uh, a genre uh, one one genre or something it's a very broad uh, genre that plays I mean on our stage the temple and the altar I think that's only death and black metal but you have the valley uh, with the I don't know strange rare bands yeah and, and, and the main stage is with the that's what you said <laughs> of <Yeah>. course <laughs> No, I mean, it's uh, something for everyone, but uh, everyone feels uh, home 
I guess. And mm. uh, that's very nice. <coughs> Thank you. Um, how did you get prepared for the show with maybe rehearsal or meeting each other? We had, a, we had a, actually a five weeks rehearsal. <laughs> Um, no, it was our last tour in uh, March and April uh, and we just uh, take the risk to not rehearse before Hellfest itself. Uh, so um, we just met here. Of course we practice at home and we have backing tracks and everyone can, can rehearse. Uh, but we haven't met before uh, and played the set because we had this huge tour and uh, we actually relied on not forgetting anything. <laughs> Um, a question about your band is how could you describe the band the Vagina Freight yeah, sorry to someone who doesn't know you without using the usual metal labels like black metal or um, I'm, I'm interested um, uh, a good friend of us once said it's a sonic inward um Uh, Reise? The journey. journey. Oh. Sonic, like the sound, yeah. and the, the journey that's like inside your head. So it's a yeah, huge audio journey. Yeah, it's a, maybe a journey to yourself. Because everyone, or when, when we talk to people that are coming to the concerts or listening to our music, they... Um, they identify with the music uh, and have their own interpretation of, of the music for themselves so they are or get on a journey to, to themselves and uh, that's something we hear a lot okay I've had myself a question because that's something interesting for me the band's name is in German it means the way of a freedom but Uh, what is the meaning for you and for the band and why in German and not in English? Uh, that uh, was a decision very very long uh, ago and sometimes if a question like this is, is uh, uh, put to me uh, it's hard to answer because uh, sometimes, <laughs> must be honest, I forget about things which are so far away but what I can say is that um, Back then, in the day, it was very important for me to um, express myself in the lyrics and in the music on my mother tongue um, because I just simply wasn't good enough in English or any other language so, and having a German band name was just logical and writing German lyrics. I could say it, it changed a little bit also looking at the latest album which has two songs uh, with English lyrics for example, um, but for me The band's name is just like uh, the, the essence of what is the music and the band all about. Uh, like finding your own personal freedom in something that you love. It can be everything. For me it's music and lyrics and uh, that is the band name. Thank you. <laughs> um, the question about your latest album, Nocturne, uh, came out at the end of 21. What is your opinion on this one after more than one year? And uh, you said that the inspiration comes from Chopin. Uh, it was only for the title of the album or maybe for the songs too? Uh, yeah, you are right. Uh, that is rather only for the title actually because I listened to Chopin uh, very much in the creation process of the album. And um, actually I love Chopin. It's one of my favorite uh, classical composers and um, I just wanted to pay kind of tribute and uh, to the Nocturnes, uh, to his uh, most um, famous pieces he wrote uh, because I also love them and um, uh, like lyric lyrically uh, the album deals with um, emotions and, um, and thoughts The darker ones uh, you have at night, uh, maybe when you are alone, mostly at night you are alone, alone, lying in the bed, uh, closing your eyes. You are in your own world, uh, so you have different kinds of kinds of thoughts, and that is the main theme on this album. So the title was for me perfectly fitting to everything, which is 
the album. Seems a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, we think about things we do. You finally were able to play uh, some of Nocturne songs on stage. How was the experience for you? Like tonight? The show I'm on? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, it's, it's, it wasn't only today that we had the chance to play some of this. Uh, so we had some tours already where we were able to play them. And yeah. um, since we, since we um, recorded it together for the first time, like for this album was the first time we recorded it together, uh, it always feels some kind of special um, to play these songs because it feels more like being a part of, of the extin extinction of the songs. Uh, so it always feels nice to play these songs, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> you want to add something? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, since the recording process was different, like we, we did a live recording and we played everything all together um, in the studio. So we also had to prepare ourselves in a different way than usually. So. The songs always felt uh, hmm, a little bit like round, like um, round. <laughs> That's a German saying, right? Uh, <laughs> um, That's a tough question. No, it's uh, the question is not a problem. <laughs> um, so I think you can say that like we play the songs on stage as we recorded them together because we like made them up together like at least the end of it or the, the end product but with the songs before they were, were more or less only written by him and that makes a difference you for the for the older songs you just play the stuff you you he, he gave to us or he presented to us but now the new songs are more like a product of us all in the end so it's yeah. it's more your okay. song. <laughs> okay. Uh, earlier, you had the opportunity to tour with Igor, Amanda, and Engsman Chair. How was this tour? Oh well, well, I'm, I'm the wrong person because I always jo only joined the tour for half of the time. But the tour was uh, tough to a certain degree because it was very hectic and there was a lot of stuff to do every day. Um, But all the people involved were very nice and for us it was pretty cool to play in front of an audience who was coming from a different background of music, like with Igor, it's, or even, even Amen Ra, like I mean, it's... Igor is on the valley. Yeah, I mean it's not the... the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's not the typical type of, of uh, audience we have, I would say. So therefore it was very nice, especially to see that they enjoy our show and they really liked it. And uh, we were playing at 7 or 7.30 in the evening, but still the room was packed and people were loving it. And so for us, that felt very good. But from my side, I mean, I was only on the tour for 12 to 15 days or something. It was exhausting, but the other guys, you got okay, have the finished. other guys because they stayed on the tour for another 50 days. So <laughs> that's but we had a lot of uh, day offs in the, uh, in the end of the tour, which was very nice. We've been to Scandinavia, for example, had ferry rides and had just three days in Stockholm, for example, a beautiful city. And, Uh, like the these circumstances uh, were quite nice in this kind of uh, matter like seeing seeing new places and there were many new places that we haven't played before and there was something very nice also the audience but also the places I think we also can say that it was a huge honor for us to play with such bands for me especially Amen Ra because I was Ten years ago, if you would have told me that I would play a tour with Amen Ra, I would have laughed at you. But I now I, I was there, and now I'm friends with Amen Ra, and it was like something like, "Oh, okay, that's crazy." That's cool. yeah, yeah, we so are friends. We are. We are. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. You kidding me? 
Um, did you already work on some new material, on your songs, EP, albums, maybe? Um, I think these, we only three, uh, play three festivals this year, like Hellfest. Next weekend we play um, a Spanish festival called Rock Imperium and then Motocultur. And after Motocultur, for me, uh, yeah, maybe for you too, it's like a cut in a way. And um, Some rest. Yeah, I will, especially after the long tour in the beginning of the year, Uh, yeah, I will take definitely take some time to work on new material. There are some thoughts and ideas already, but nothing we can really say about that, unfortunately. I know you want to know everything or the, the, the people. Um, yeah, but if there's no, nothing written, we can't say anything. <laughs> but we will uh, get back to songwriting soon. Okay. Um Another question, speaking about the motocultor, uh, you had a set list for the Alphas today. Um, will the set list will be the same for motocultor in August? And how did you build the set list for today and maybe for the motocultor? Um, it depends on many different factors, but the one, uh, the, of course, <laughs> the main factor is the time. How many minutes do we have? I mean, today was 45 minutes. Um, on the last tour we had 40 minutes which was very difficult 45 is a time that is more flexible and on motocultor we have 50 minutes and still uh, we always try to like play um, yeah let's say like uh, the rather more aggressive songs on a more extreme metal festival for example Uh, but it always depends on the time and uh, on motocultur. The 50 minutes um, uh, allow us to play one more song, uh, probably Zeichen from the Unstiller album. Because we haven't played any song from this album today, we can't play all albums, of course, in 45 minutes. Okay. And having such long songs, it's always difficult. Hey. So it's very, uh, yeah, it's very you difficult. You are not a Zoom band, you can play more than two songs in 40 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I don't know if we are uh, we are uh, more lucky or grindcore bands are more lucky or it's more difficult. I don't know because grindcore bands, if you like have five second songs, um, you yeah, can play all of how can you <laughs> just? Uh, <laughs> the biggest problem point: they need a lot of paper. Grindcore <laughs> bands need a lot of paper. It's like okay. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Do you also plan to see some bands today? Because you are at the festival. Maybe you want to see some artists on scene, so do you have any idea? Um, you know, for me at least, a festival show is always um, busy in a way. Um, more, more busy than a normal club show. And uh, also doing an interview like this now, Uh, there's almost no time for anything and um, we try to see things and the fortunate thing is uh, that we stay another day tomorrow so um, we can see bands tomorrow but tonight I think uh, we have to eat something <laughs> uh, but then uh, we want to see Gorgoroth uh, I think we can we can um, yeah. take these and I actually don't know who the headliner is <laughs> but maybe Venom Inc. Venom, Venom Inc is the headliner tomorrow Um, yeah, definitely want to see Iron Maiden tomorrow. That's, tomorrow, that's yeah. like 100% Maiden, sure. Too, to be yeah. And yeah, Gogorov for sure. And I'm just checking the rest of the bands. But, but there are um, some great bands actually. Maybe catch some songs of Metal Crew just because <laughs> we can. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, definitely Iron Maiden and yeah, Gogorov is important. I would love, I would love to see uh, Bloodbath and uh, Aborted. Um, but I uh, and uh, 30, uh, 49, but uh, it's always a matter of time. Yeah, because the party is uh, it's on now. It's on ah. right now. So okay, you, you well. Need to, to go. Yeah, it, it began in three minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I will end the just for you. Yeah, okay, well, for me, uh, I just want to spend time with the other guys. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> so, honestly, awesome. it's like I, I want to see Iron Maiden, of course. Actually, I would like to see. Butch, but I don't know when they are playing. Never, if I'm never. able <laughs> to see them, Butch, yeah, Butch, like the punk hardcore band, like very, very 
old punk hardcore band. Like when I grew up, I listened to them a lot, but I I don't really care honestly. <laughs> I want to hang out with the others. We don't see each other too often because we live in different cities. Yeah. So when we get the time to hang out, it's uh, nice to it's hang out. Yeah. I can understand. Yeah. Um, so last question. We will do that quick. If you had to pick one guest musician for your next single, who would you choose and why? Can everyone answer, please? <laughs> yeah. Please, I want everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um... It would be a guest singer um, called Aldous Harding. Um, it's a singer from New Zealand, uh, and I I like her voice very much. <laughs> I really are. I, I'm in love. I would go for either Chelsea Wolf or Emma Ruth Randall. I, to be honest, I have no clue. Um, but uh, it it would be a singer. Um, for for me, but just a single is enough. <laughs> <laughs> You're safe. Uh, Nigel Goldrich. Okay. Huh? Nigel Goldrich, the producer of Radiohead. So that was the last question for me. Thank you guys, really. And um, do you have any last words for the French audience? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, it was 10 years ago we uh, played in France, the Ver no, oh, sorry, it was nine years ago, but um, since we first uh, stepped foot in France uh, to play shows, it always was like a, a different world. It's really um, another country for us, uh, it, it, uh, it sounds stupid. Um, no, really, I mean it. It's, it's uh, something else to play in France every day, uh, uh, every time we play there, and especially half us today was another proof for that uh, because the people were just, uh, yeah. <laughs> and you look really happy, guys. Yeah, yeah. we do. <laughs> we are. It's always awesome. Is there to something play. to add, maybe? Something to say? We, we love, we love France. It's always awesome to play here and. All, only great experience. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, th I think it's like Germany and France are the strongest countries for us, yeah. um, and we always enjoy playing here. Yeah, I can only agree. Okay. And you have a French uh, band. Yeah, I mean they are good friends of us. Okay. So. <laughs>